Welcome back to Awesome Cams and today we had the opportunity to get the Ford Raptor for the second time but this time we had it on a test drive and it's been amazing. I just had my friend Joe from the Flying Lab here with me to share some knowledge and some information on the Raptor but guess what let me just talk to you about the how does the Raptor feels on the off-road. Right now I am going to drive it a little bit we're just gonna go and talk about it how it feels on the open roads this car is magnificent i have nothing to complain about it is very easy to drive very easy to work with um people always pull the thumbs up to see the the car going around it's a really cool car all aluminum very very attractive to the eye it's super cool to look at it look at this machine <laughs> again we have the privilege again to get a whole of a beautiful super truck the most important super truck on the market as we speak this is the 2017 Ford Raptor at Asa Camps yes here we are back again with this super truck the car that gave me over a hundred thousand views on my single video in YouTube thank you guys for the support the likes and, and share this car has given me so much pleasure and today we have the opportunity to have a different perspective from the Raptor. The Raptor is where it's supposed to be, right on the country where this car was built for. Check that beautiful lightning around the car, the Ford lettering and the front grille, the frontal camera is right there. For you guys who don't know the fact that this car has a 360 camera, so it helps you to go in tight spaces, very small spaces and you can get to park this huge truck anywhere with confidence check that out i love the muscularity of this car you see the bulges on the front end the side fenders are very very aggressive it's fully aluminum so this car is super lightweight it sheds around 500 pounds from the previous version look at the led lights on this car right on the on the rear stoplights the small LED lights for to let you guys where you guys are parked this one has the another external camera the backup camera 170 degrees camera Let's see how this works again check this out what look at that tailgate that's luxury as we speak check this out when you get any other given truck and you get to open the tailgate, it will slam down and you have to like juggle it and and work with the weight. Look at this, guys. Slow and luxurious. Very easy, very good and comfortable. This one has a 5.5 bed. That's a standard in all the Raptors. The sliding window, LED lights to illuminate your car or your cargo whenever you're at, in a dark place or at night this one has the LED lights on the side corners both sides check that out Ford does it better the thin bumpers on the back they're good to help you with the attack of the truck if you're in a Baja mode and you're going to the sand dunes or any other uh, different uh, topography you will be able to attack angles that are really aggressive that you might not be able to attack with any other truck. That's why these ones are so thin and in an angle. This one has dual, real dual exhaust right on the end. Normally, uh, cars are not coming with a real dual exhaust. You can see it there. The blacked out tips, very important to keep this car sport looking. This one had the bit lugs, rim 17 inches with the 34 inches tires. Really good tires for the off-road and mudding. These are the Baja Champion from BF Goodrich, TAKO2. Also, you get to see right here, we're going to sneak the camera right here, the Fox Dampers 3 inches reservoir. This are, is going to give you the safety features you need in order 
to uh, keep your dampers cool because when you're in off-roading or mudding or jumping off sand dunes, you need to keep your uh, dampers and your chocks absorbers in a good temperature in order to not break them on the, on the go. Check this out. Let's see the front end. Look at that suspension. These shock absorbers aren't made to are made to travel up to 13 inches in the front and 14 inches on the back. So that's it. Look at that aggressive front bumper. It's made out of metal. Super cool, super protective. Look at the jewel lamps, LED lamps with the LED lightning around the headlamp. Very cool, corner lights and LED. Right here, right below the side mirrors, you have another external camera and LED lights. Let's get to see the interior. This is where this car shines because I can picture a lot of Mercedes, BMW, and high-end owners from like Land Rover and other brands buying this vehicle because of the luxury that this vehicle provides you. Check this out. That's the dash right there with the Raptor logo and the infotainment. Carbon fiber all over the car, so it's luxurious as we speak. We have the little red strip, like the GT3 cars and the blank paint and, and the Michelin World Challenge cars. Really, really cool. This helps you when you're in the in the in the sand dunes or in the off-roading to keep your car in line, like straight line. All right. What else? We get to see the ventilated seats. This one has perforated seats all over the car, but the front seats get the ventilated seats and the heating seats, and the rear seats get the heating seats only. Check out the Raptor logo. I dig on this, man. When you get to see these seats are like highly bolstered on the sides, but they're not that aggressive, where it's gonna make it uncomfortable. This carbon fiber looks gorgeous in this vehicle. We see the step boards right on the corner, Raptor ones. Very aggressive. This also protects the car from any kind of rock climbing or trees or tree trunks anywhere you go. Very tall and ground clearance truck. Let's see the interior in the back seat. Wow, look at this. So much room in the Ford Raptor 2017. It will fit. Three full-size adults on the rear seat comfortably. There's no questions asked. Look at that double panoramic roof in the car. It's amazing. You get to see also the perforated style all over the car and the back seats. Remember that this one has heating seats only in the rear seat. Look at the air conditioning options. Also have heating seats right there, the push buttons for the heating seats. Look at this dash from the back, guys. Very, very nice looking car. The turning radius of this car is really, really tight. It doesn't feel like it's a big truck. Just turns just like a sports car. If I'm in the $50,000 market, I will not hesitate to get this truck as we speak, because this is a super truck and I will have more fun, more practicality, more uh, utility uh, value than any other truck on the market or any other car on the market. So, like you guys can see, this is a beautiful land right here. We have been very blessed to be uh, able to utilize this beautiful truck in this magnificent uh, property. I will have to say thank you to my friend Alan Boyd and the people from Crossroads in Cary, North Carolina to let us drive this beautiful machine. It's an impressive product. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. We will be bringing you a lot of good products and a lot of new material from motorsports events, uh, different other events that I, I participate, like cars and coffees. Please. Don't hesitate to send me a message. Put the comments down below if you like this video. If you don't like it, what other suggestions do you guys have for me? I will try to please and answer all your comments. And don't forget to check this vehicle in the website of Crossroads in Cary, North Carolina. It's great facilities out there. We'll be reviewing other products from this company. So, 
This is Oz Accounts. I'll see you guys next time.